In this video we will learn to install the Java Software Development Kit and an integrated development environment IntelliJ which is specially designed for Java development code. Before downloading the Java SDK you should check the speed of your CPU as well as the operating system installed on your system whether it is 32-bit or 64-bit. Follow these steps to find information about your system. Step 1. Press and hold the Windows key as shown. Step 2. Either type settings or press the gear icon on left as pointed by the pink arrow. Step 3. On the next screen hit the system icon as pointed by the blue arrow. Step 4. When the next screen shows up you will see about right at the bottom of left column. Click on that. The next screen will show basic information about the system. The blue arrow points to your CPU type and the OS installed. The short clip that follows demonstrates these steps. Next let us head to the Java download site to download and install Java SDK. Go to https colon slash slash www.oracle.com slash java slash technologies or search in Google. Select version 17.0 for Windows. After download is complete run installer. Follow the instructions to install. Make a note of the installation directory. A short 75 second clip shows these steps. At the appropriate stages you may choose your download directory. After the download finishes, a small window will pop up showing the downloaded file. Click on it to start the installation. Just accept the default installation directory. As mentioned above, it is advisable to make a note of this folder. I use a cute little Microsoft app called Sticky Notes to make such notes. When the installer finishes with a successful message, close the installer. Now you have Java SDK and we are ready to install the IDE known as IntelliJ. Download and install IntelliJ IDE. Go to https colon slash slash www.jetbrains.com slash idea or Google JetBrains IntelliJ. Click the download button. On next screen select your OS. Windows slash Mac slash Linux and choose between Ultimate, Paid, or Community Edition. After download finishes, run to install as before. Click Next on the Welcome window. Accept default installation directory and click Next. On the next window you should check mark the four boxes, .java, .groovy, 
www.kt.kts. Also check mark the box to create a desktop icon for community edition. Leave the path box and context box unchecked and hit the next button. On the next screen click the install button. When the installer has finished, check mark the run box and press finish button. As a final step we must tweak the configuration a bit. Select the customize item and all settings. Under editor and general category make sure that show line numbers box is ticked in the pop-up menu in appearance head. Again, in the general category, under auto imports head tick the two boxes marked, add unambiguous auto import on the fly and the box optimize imports on the fly. With these three changes we are set to go. Testing installation of SDK and IDE. In the final part of this video we will test our installation by Step 1. Creating a new Java project. Step 2. Building the project. Step 3. Running it. The project is a very simple one. It compares two integers and prints some message onto the computer screen. The actual code is shown on the slide. For this video do not worry about how the code works. Just focus on the mechanics of building and running a project. So, here are the details. Double click on the IntelliJ icon on the desktop to start the IDE. Click on the new project tab. A window opens where you will enter a suitable name for your project. Let us give it a name example 1. Make sure you select Java as the language and IntelliJ as the build system. Hit the create button which is at the bottom right. A new project will be created with the project panel on the left side. You should see a source folder named SRC. Right-click on this and select New and then Java class. On a window which opens make sure class is highlighted. Enter the name Example 1, which is same as the name of the project. The IDE will fill the main panel, to the right of the project panel, with a skeleton class template. Place the caret at the class declaration string after the opening bracket and press shift plus enter. In contrast to enter, shift plus enter starts a new line without breaking the current one. Type main and select the template that inserts the main method declaration. As you type, IntelliJ IDEA suggests various constructs that can be used in the current context. You can see the list of available live templates using Ctrl plus J. Here you will notice IntelliSense built into the IDE. This is a very powerful feature of the IDE. Enter the remaining code. When finished click the green hammer icon on the row below the menu bar on top. The build process starts and if there are no errors you will see a build successful message at the bottom. Finally go to run menu item and run the compiled code. The output will appear below the projects panel on the left. I will leave you with three very simple projects to build and run. Have fun!